Alright, hey guys, what's going on? It's Kyle from Love and Solidarity. This is my first video on New World Defenders channel. Today, I guess, uh, um, I wasn't sure what I'd talk about, but I think I'm going to be a little broad for my first video on this channel and talk a little bit about uh, waking people up, because personally I feel like I have somewhat of a unique experience because there's not too many people my age, as far as I know, um, on YouTube, and I'm trying to find other people my age that do talk about these things. I found one, uh, some guy in Canada, and I don't remember his username, but he sounded pretty cool. Um, but I feel like I have a little bit of a unique experience when talking to people because most of them are my age, and I think that those are good stories to tell because may we don't really hear about it that often. Most people I see in here are people, you know, my parents' age or, uh, you know, people who are in the working class uh, that, you know, that know what's going on. And most people that are my age have no idea what's going on. Um, but the good news is that people are waking up around me without me talking about it. They're kind of starting to ask why, you know, and that's the big question. Why, why is this happening? And, you know, not, not politically, but people are asking, uh, you know, my friend Evan asked, why am I in college? I don't feel like, uh, this is worth it. I don't feel like, you know, and he's a good student. He just feels like I don't want to, you know, my roommate says all he wants to do is, uh, go, you know, settle down with his girlfriend that he loves and, get a house with a white picket fence and I don't want to do that. I don't want to live some normal life. And, you know, the life that we've been classed as, you know, the American dream, you know, with a dog and a couple of kids and that's normal. And he's starting to feel like he doesn't want to pay the money for the college anymore. He doesn't want to do those things. Um, and those kind of lead to asking why is the world the way it is? Why is everything working the way it is? Why are we so suppressed? And, you know, you kind of answer your own questions for yourself. And a lot of, you know, usually when you ask the question yourself, you you don't get too far as to answering the question. Uh, and, and people need to plant that idea in your mind. People like me, I don't necessarily remember. I remember um, my personal story is me being a very hard conservative Republican racist kind of guy <clears throat> who didn't care too much about gay marriage. I just figured, you know, it's not, you know... Um, something, I, it's not that I don't support it, I'm not too religious in any way, I don't really care, um, and I thought it was a little ignorant that people who aren't gay were, you know, that's the only thing I had besides being a, you know, far right wing was gay marriage, I really didn't care what people chose to do, um, but as I've gotten older and, um, what I spent my time doing was watching movies like Loose Change and all those kind of 9-11 movies and denying it, saying that, oh, you know, how could you think that, you know, and hating people for being a conspiracy theorist. Um, and I'd watched that movie like five or six times and agreed that there were some questions that needed to be answered. But, you know, to say that the government did it or anything like that is, is irresponsible and unpatriotic. So uh, once I, a couple of things happened, you know, the economy crashed and all this Bush stuff happened. And I still believed in like the, you know, I just hated liberals more than being conservative. I hated liberals. I hated liberals ideas of expanding government. I hate liberals' ideas of, of the welfare. Don't give my wealth to anybody else. I deserve every money, every dollar that I make. Um, and people that you know buy insurance on a, on a house on an ocean should know, or buy a house in Louisiana should know that they're living in a fishbowl. And you know that's the risk, and I shouldn't have to pay for you know their stupid mistakes. Um, that's really how I felt. But as I've gotten older and I've learned more. I've kind of seen now that Obama's president, that Obama was no different than Bush. I've seen that these wars are not for terrorism um, and that we are just being lied to. And so really seeing everything that's going on outside of 9-11 made 9-11 look like, you know, of course it was an inside job, seeing who really controls the world. I didn't, I don't even look at 9-11 anymore. I never, I haven't since I denied it because it's just, you know, I would be surprised if 9-11 wasn't an inside job when you look at history. So, that's what got me, and now everything is just like 2 plus 2 equals 4. For other people, waking them up has to do with understanding the mainstream media. And a lot of people say, oh, well, you know, all these, you know, they're all bought by the same banks, and, you know, they all support the same movement, you know, just creating that left-right paradigm. Uh, however, it is still important to pay attention to it because realize that people outside of us watch these news networks, and think that the Casey Anthony trial and the Anthony Weiner trial are real. I'm not saying you have to pay attention to those. I have no idea what's going on in the, I think her name, 
it was Casey Anthony, the one who apparently killed her baby, but, you know, she's already guilty, even though we're still going to court, and, you know, they, they want people to be interested in these things that, uh, you know, that's going on. Um, not to mention that one guy, Peterson, the cop, lived about five minutes from my house, and I still didn't give a shit about that. So, you know, they're, like, searching around in the forest by my backyard for, like, his wife and stuff like that. I really, I don't care. Um, so, but it's important to pay attention to the things political. Like, for example, um, CNN uh, said, you know, John McCain has been bashing the Republican Party all week, saying that, you know, they're nothing that, that they should be, that they're just fighting with each other, blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, he's teaming up with John Kerry, a secret society Democrat, to support the war. Apparently, there's a war going on in Libya. I'm not sure. Did you know about that? Uh, most be uh, a ground invasion coming in October. You know, you can say things like that to people, and then when it happens, you know, they might remember you saying that. So that's also a good way. So really, waking people up for me um, is asking them questions that they think they know the answers to, but they just can't explain. Um, you can explain that. There's uprising in Egypt uh, because they have a dictator for 30 years. We don't have uprisings here because we just wait for the next guy to get elected. And that you can explain in all the ways that the system is rigged. And why don't you just control the politicians and everything's going to be just fine. You can explain. You don't get too extreme, but, I mean, you can just ask them questions. You know, ask them about, oh, yeah, they told me that they found a passport from one of the terrorists that was on the plane that hit a building. And they found it on the street. How is that possible? Like, they feed you this bullshit. You can talk about, uh, really, the main one, I guess, you can ask about Osama bin Laden, which people kind of get mad at, I notice, because they put a lot of emotion into us killing Osama bin Laden. Um, but ask them, do you have any proof that we have his body? And, you know, clearly there is none. And they can say, oh, well, the news told, told me this, and then they'll know they're sounding like an idiot. And you say, well, that's when you have to start investigating for yourself. You have to start thinking for yourself uh, because, well, for obvious reasons. Why would you trust what they tell you, you know? Um, and, and you, I mean, you could say anything like, you know, you can make obvious statements like, um, you know, there's some suspicious things going on in Joplin, Missouri, where the military is closing off all of these places. And they'll say, oh, you're crazy to think that they're doing anything fishy there. It's like, well, I'm not making theories here. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. What I'm doing here is asking questions. I want to know why the military is blocking off all these places and all of a sudden some random mold breaks and all these people are getting sick. I'm not going to put the two together, but I'm going to imply it and ask questions as to why. And I want to see a military statement. I want to ask why, you know, Building 7. I'm not going to repeat that a million times. People for Building 7 at least a thousand times. I want to ask why, you know, and, and, and at the same time, you have to make them feel intelligent too, I've realized, because people really like Obama. So you can say, yeah, you know, Obama, you know, the one time Lindsey Williams or whatever said that, you know, what he, what he and I both found surprising was that the, his inside sources said that Obama wanted to do good things for this country, but then when he tried to, they shut him down and he realized really that he started feeling the strings attached to his arms, shoulders, legs, and head. Um, if you know what I'm saying, being a puppet, you know, so you can say, oh, you know, I thought he was going to do good things too, but the controllers just got a hold of him and it kind of makes him feel better. Oh, yeah, yeah, Obama's still a good guy, okay, you know, um, so you can sympathize with them a little bit, you know, and, and it really wakes people up when you mention that you hate Bush too, because anytime you bash Obama, they say, oh, well, Bush started the problem. Well, Bush sucked too. Just tell them Bush was worse. It'll make them feel better, it will make them feel less stupid. Um, so, oh, you got all that stuff going on, just to explain how the media, you know, ask them who Ron Paul is, and they won't tell you, because they'll say, I don't know. You say, well, listen to him every once in a while. Notice how he defends the Constitution. Notice how he's against all of the global banks that control these other politicians. And notice why the media, controlled by the banks, continues to bash him, because they don't want him in office. You see, and it's very it's very simple. It's two plus two, you know, if they don't want him in there, they'll, they'll tell the people that he's bad. You know, like the interview he had on the Today Show, which I recommend you watch, it was very funny. Uh, Matt Lauer called him, uh, you know, a little a little crazy in a way. And then Ron Paul just said, well, you know, am I crazy for defending freedom? You know, and then you can't deny that. <laughs> you know, this guy's crazy, he wants to defend the Constitution. So, um, anyway, that's all I got for today, guys. Just a quick, uh, simple video um, on waking people up. So I'll talk to you guys soon. 
Uh, have a good rest of the week. 